coming back to in and around North Bay. And after we did a little scootering in Forestville, we decided we need some pizza. And I knew just the spot, a brand new place that's opened up in Sebastopol called Psychic Pie. And this restaurant just south of the main square there in Sebastopol serves up something that I haven't seen in the North Bay yet, which is Roman style pizza. It's usually a kind of a thicker pizza, it's on sourdough. You ask for how much you want based on the number of fingers across the pie you want, and then they'll cut it with scissors, put it in the oven for you. And this place has gotten some great press as of late, and it's easy to understand why. This pizza is incredible. It might be some of the best pizza I've ever had. And as you see here from this cornucopia of pizza slices that we tried, you know, we had to try them all and it was great. It is a little pricey, but it's definitely worth it. And they also have some beers, some drinks you can have with your pie. So definitely check out Psychic Pie. And just a couple blocks from where I live in Santa Rosa, we have the Fulton Crossing. And this is right off River Road and actually in the little town of Fulton, which is a really cool place just to kind of check out and see the different vibe that some of these towns can have here in Sonoma County. But Fulton Crossing, this is a great place where you can buy art from local artists. These are actual working artist studios as well. So you'll be able to walk in, we'll see them putting together their work. You can talk to them about their inspiration and how they've come up with what they have here. The prices for the art seem quite reasonable. I'm not an art collector myself, maybe someday, the kids are older and I'm making a lot more money, but they seem pretty reasonably priced for uh, you know, an original piece from a local artist. And in addition to all the art that they have available, there's a whole bunch of antiques as well. If that's up your alley. I know that some people are always looking for kind of an, a specific piece of hardware or furniture from the past. And this would be a great place to just hit up and browse through. What I really like about this artist studio as well is that it is cavernous. You're gonna see in this video that I'm gonna be walking through it. There's all these little nooks and crannies, these different places where it's someone else's brainchild, someone else's incredible thoughts and ideas put down onto paper or put into a sculpture. And it's just a really cool experience to go through. Um, I wish I can kind of sell every single one of these individuals that's featured at this gallery, but I think you should just come for yourself, come see it, even if you're not looking to buy, it's an awesome place to stop. So let's just take a look. So I'm jumping all around here, but I didn't know the first time I went that there's actually an upstairs area. And this is where that cavernous feel really comes in. And I feel bad that I missed it the first time because there was so much great work up there. So make sure you make your way upstairs when you stop by.
So definitely try out Psychic Pie and come down to Fulton Crossing. And until next time, everyone.